Hello friends and welcome. As I promised you, today we'll have a special, special episode. I present you the fountain pen that costs only 0.22 US dollars or 0.21 euros. I bought this fountain pen new in uh, Romania where I live in the town of uh, Brasov from the hypermarket called Carrefour. Carrefour it is a um, French line of stores and um, they had this um, product on sale. Initially the price was 0.60 or 0 0.70 dollars but um, they had a promotion and um, they sold this fountain pen at a cost of one uh, leu and this is my currency from my country and i transformed this currency into dollars and as i told you before it comes to 0 0.22 dollars or 0 0.21 euro you can see bonus as if the price was <laughs> Not the bonus itself, we have two ink cartridges. I wanted to show you that um, this fountain pen is made in China and it's imported for um, a company in France. And you can see it has the branding Carrefour, Stilo Plume, Pluma Estilografica. So we have in uh, French and in Spanish, rechargeable. It has those uh, flamingos on it. And let's see some other information. So yes, it is a fountain pen rechargeable. And It has a medium nib and it only works with uh, um, short international standard cartridge so it has um, a small barrel you can't fit a converter or other type of um, bigger international ink cartridge I'm so excited let's see how um, yes it's simply we simply pull it off okay okay I don't have a tool so I do it by hand okay I have done it oops I hope I didn't <laughs> broke it Let's put this aside and let's see the fountain pen. And we discover immediately a small problem. And let us focus. Maybe I don't know how to. Yes, it. Now this is a. This is from the packaging, but you can see it. Let us focus. So, yes, you can see that it has on the grip section those little domes and they have a roll of friction fit and <laughs> I've done it the problem is you have to um, put a lot of pressure and even now when I try to open it it requires a lot of uh, pressure uh, a lot of force when you try to open and a lot of pressure when you try to close it back in but I think that in time um, it will loosen up of course, in time, I can't guarantee that uh, this 
plastic transparent part would not crack. You can see that we have a protective, let's uh, look closely, a protective plastic. So um, you can see here, but uh, no metal, no metal ring. So this surely in time will crack, but um, I can't tell you for sure. This is my first impressions of um, it. Let's see, let's analyze it. The green cap. I love the fact that it's transparent. It reminds me of the demonstrative fountain pens and this is surely a demonstrator. It is quite small and um, I will leave you the measurements on the screen right now. It has this domed end. It is um, made out of plastic and um, it is connected to this clip here. Let's test it. Uh, it's uh, functional but uh, prone to crack because it is a plastic and if you try to bend it more it will crack from here but remember we are talking about a 22 cents fountain pen like I told you the cap is friction fit we have also this um, uh, those rings on the grip it is quite good for the grip and let's see now the steel metal nib as I told you before on the instructions they told us it has a medium nib no uh, imprints on the nib we turn back and we see this rather um, plain feed it's a plastic feed you can see that um, the material used is not so uh, great but um, again we will see how this fountain pen writes the barrel is screwed in and you simply remove it like this it also has a protective black plastic I believe it has a double roll for ensuring that um, it is more durable and maybe also an aesthetic roll so we leave this aside and we can see that uh, the barrel and the cap are identical in length the difference is only the end of uh, them and the section has a those um, rings i can't tell you it is um thick plastic it's quite um, quite a thick plastic although it's transparent and it gives um the impression of being um, a thick one okay let's see now we will insert an ink cartridges that was already provided and yes it fits okay okay and i have here a piece of paper i will try to see if um, it um, works let's see now no because we have to wait you know um, from my reviews of um, the fact that we have to wait for the ink to come down in the section and um, to the feed and grip okay look it wasn't necessary for me to to apply pressure it you can see it right but uh, let us prepare for a real writing session so I simply put the barrel on let's see if it posts on this particular fountain pen yes it posts but it doesn't uh, hold it's you can see 
because it is a small fountain pen, I will uh, leave it posted. Okay, let us zoom on the paper and let's see how this fountain pen writes. And look, <laughs> it writes. And I must tell you, it performs quite good. So this, I will call it the um, Carrefour Affordable. The Carrefour Affordable Fountain Pen. This is made in China. And I bought this new at the incredible price 0 0.22 US dollars or 0 0.21 euros. Uh, at this price, believe me, I uh, was amazed and I am amazed over the way it writes. We have a plain steel nib, no imprints of it, no marking. We know it's an M nib. It works only with small ink cartridges. And um, let's see some um, line of uh, look. When I it, uh, applied force, the cap uh, fell off. So I think um, um, uh, it doesn't post securely. So. I will continue my um, writing sample with it uncapped, unpop. Okay. So I try some line variations. Of course, being a steel nib, um, it has no flex. It simply, simply, simply is a nice, nice uh, writer. No pressure, it simply glides on the on the piece of paper. So incredible. In incredible. Um, I will try also let's see a uh, reverse writing. You can see it writes in reverse. Amazing, amazing. So this is um like an M and this is like an F. Incredible, incredible fountain pen. And maybe you don't like the look of the of a demonstrator. So I bought another fountain pen from um, the same store, Carrefour. This is another color, a salmon color. And let's see on the back. We have again um, the fact that uh, the nib is highly resistant and it um, allows a cursive and um, a fast writing. And this is also made in China, I believe from the same uh, Chinese producer. And um, you can see it comes with um, this drawing of, uh, I believe it is um, the Paris. Ah, yes, and we have here Paris. I was right. And you will also see that the barrel is imprinted. Let's, um, let's open this one. It has the same. Okay. Let's put this aside. It opens quite easy, I hope. <laughs> yes, it is um, only cardboard, so it is easy, easy, easy. Okay. Okay. Let's put this aside. And let's see the fountain pen. As I told you, let's zoom a little bit. It has um, 
Okay, also friction fit. We will um, compare it with uh, this other model. A different clip. We can see the different design of the clip. It is uh, made from uh, plastic. Let's look uh, at the barrel. So we see the Notre Dame. And the nice uh, young lady that is walking its French bulldog. <laughs> nice, nice drawing. And let's see how it was. Uh, I believe it is um, made out of um, plastic. Mm, you can definitely see that it, um, it is a pinkish uh, color and this is a salmon color and the barrel is a salmon the end of the barrel it has this dome ending and the same at the end of the fountain pen it is a friction fit but this time we have this line so we don't have the domes like we did on the other one let us see the difference so this had domed and this has a continuous line and even um, i like better the grip section of uh, this one this has uh, those rings but this one has um, you can see it reminds me of the parker 75 it has this um, gripping points and you I think you can notice that this isn't a straight line, this isn't a cylinder, it is a nice way to hold your finger. Very nice, very very nice gripping section. This, uh, the nib is a steel nib, also no imprints on it. We have the same, I believe, um, feet like the other one. And... The barrel on screws. Let's see if uh, we can fit two of uh, those. Um, no, so only one, um, only one ink cartridge, international ink cartridge, size small, and it holds only a small ink cartridge. I will insert the ink cartridge. Okay. And now uh, we we wait, and um, I want to see if it uh, writes, but um, I will wait for, for the ink to. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't insert it right. So you must push. Yes. Now it is uh, good. It is clearly inserted, as you can see. Let's see now. Now we'll wait. Um, of course, we don't have the time to wait. So I will apply some gently, gentle pressure for the ink to come down. Let's see if it comes down. Let's see. No, it doesn't want to come down. I will play with it for a minute and um, I will return. Sorry for this. It uh, literally t uh, took uh, only five seconds. So I, I applied some little pressure. You can see that the ink has uh, come out of this side. And you can see that it writes. Okay, now I'm ready to screw back the barrel. Let's see if this one, yes, so this one post, why? Because it has this design and um, you can see the difference between the level of the part that has the drawings on it and the other part that allows a nice, a nice um, posting to it. Next, I will uh, do the writing sample here. 
I am sorry for the background noise that you uh, can hear. Uh, there's some lawn mowers on the outside. Um, I will continue to do my writing sample. So this I call the Paris fountain pen. It is uh, specially made in China, made in China for Carrefour. At an, the, I bought this at the unbelievable price of 0 0.22 dollars or 0 0.21 euros. It also has a steel nib, but um, this writes more um, uh, fine. I think this is a fine nib. It also uses only small international ink cartridges. And let's see some line variation. But uh, being a steel nib, we don't have, uh, of course, no flex. It isn't scratchy, it uh, hasn't um, a feedback. So unbelievable, unbelievable. And um, as a proof that you can see that I bought this from Carrefour. This is my town. And uh, these are the prices. So one level. And this uh, translates to, uh, like I told you, 0 0.22 uh, US dollars or 0 0.21 uh, euros. And I bought, uh, of course, four, um, four of them. Unfortunately, I believe that they were available in other colors, like uh, other transparent colors or other plain colors. But uh, this is uh, the one, uh, the ones that uh, remained. And I think yes, I also have the date. So on the 14th of May, 2020. Okay, so this was my proof that uh, indeed I bought these fountain pens new and um, I wanted to share them with you. Uh, like I told you we're, before, we live um, in hard times and every penny counts. So when you find a deal like this and especially when they write like this, I think uh, you should uh, go for them. Of course, no gimmicks, no just plain uh, uh, plastic fountain pens. Uh, this one seems more fragile than the other one, but uh, for the price of uh, them, including uh, two bonus, two ink cartridges, you can't beat this uh, offer. Um, Thank you very much for um, watching this um, review of a really affordable fountain pen. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. If you've enjoyed this little video, please subscribe to my channel. You can support me by subscribing. And uh, please tell me in the comments what the, is uh, your opinion about uh, these two little fountain pens. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye.